How's it going everyone? My name is Taco, bringing you guys a very quick tutorial on how to download and install Fabric 1.17.1. Now, if you don't already have the Fabric Loader, you'll need to go to this page right here. Don't worry, there will be a link to it in the description down below. And you're gonna wanna go to here where it says installation and press here. It'll take you to this page where you're gonna have to go ahead and choose which installer you want. I think that it's fine to just do the first one right here. As with every Minecraft mod, you will probably get this little thing right here that says this file can be harmful to your computer. Do you wanna install it anyways? I always just press keep here because I've done this for so long and I know that it's safe, but I still just wanna give the PSA to be cautious when you are downloading things from the internet. Now this file right here should show up in your downloads folder. If it doesn't look like this and doesn't have the Java logo, you might need to install Java. So look up how to do that. As I said, this will show up in your downloads folder, but I just move it out to the desktop for convenience. We're going to go ahead and double click on this and it will load up a little thing right here. But you can go ahead and select your Minecraft version. This time we obviously want the 1.17.1 version. We're just going to go ahead and press install. Everything should be fine. And then as you can see, it pretty much instantly said successfully installed. Go ahead and press OK. And now we can open up the Minecraft launcher. Once you load up the Minecraft launcher, it should already be on Fabric Loader 1.17.1. But if it isn't, you can always go to installations, new installation and then look for it through here. As you can see, it should be right on top here. Sometimes they're not in the right spot. They're not where they should be. So you might have to go digging for it. But in this case, it looks like it's in the right spot. Then once you go ahead and select this, you can name the installation, whatever you want, and then just press create. But as we already have one, uh, we're not going to go ahead and do that. So go ahead and just load this up without any mods to begin with, and then go ahead and close out of the game and then add all the mods you want. If this video helped you out, please leave a like on it. It really does help me out a lot. And check out some of my other videos if you got the time, because I upload all sorts of Minecraft content that I think you would enjoy. With that being said, my name is Taco. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.